Hi everybody, welcome to another series of tutorials, this time on, I think it's pronounced Bliss uh, Alpha Synth. So, um, in this video I would like to go through a little bit the navigation and the general tab. <clears throat> so let's start. <clears throat> From the top left we have an to link, which we can activate it or not. We have a tempo selection here, so we can go for plus or minus, 120 bit per minute. So we have a MIDI in <coughs> selection. Here we can enable the MIDI in, all the channels or not. If we want to do a control mapping, in that case for learning how to control different parameters from an external controller, we can connect to a MIDI Bluetooth like um, in this case, my Akai LPK25 connected. And we can share a preset here. We can export or import it. <clears throat> so moving on here on the left, uh, default or the open folder, we can open the preset. We can go by bank, like bank A, like so. Click the default one, um, which sounds like this. or the acid ARP. So we can choose different banks here. We have uh, lots of those. Uh, we can save a new preset, overwrite or delete the preset. Let's choose the default one for now and let's close that window. We have the selection of different tabs here, general, oscillators, filters, modulation, motion for a motion sequencer, very interesting effects and also the about for blaze alpha <clears throat> um let's go back to our general tab here we have our meter for the volume which goes up as you play here we have um, uh, setting for the volume in decibel so you can as i play i can increase to 12 decibel you can uh, double click on it to go back to the original default. <clears throat> then here underneath we have pitch band and modulation as well. Perfect. And here we can um, go up and down of an octave. So if I click it here on the C4, And now I click on the plus sign. It still says C4 here, but if I click again C4, and I go to another octave. Okay, so you can go up and down of an octave. <clears throat> you have a number of controls, which I'll go through in a moment. Then here you have your keyboard, and here you have your scale. If you click on it, you can select from chromatic or diatonic, if you're diatonic, in this case, you select it as a major, so C4, D4, E4, F4, and so on. You can then select also a minor. These are the two selections for now. As you can see, the E is a E flat as well, the um, A flat as well. <clears throat> um, and you can also, of course, change the root key. So for example, uh, let's go to D, uh, and this will be your D major, and sorry, D minor, and if you want to major, here we go, you can see the F sharp and also the C sharp. Let's go back to chromatic for now, and also let's deactivate the scale. Here you have your old hold, so it will hold your sound, and here is your scroll, you can move left and right your keyboard so you can scroll it right <clears throat> let's go back here um to start to look at some of the settings so this section is rig around voices so here we can activate poly so let's activate it okay perfect um here we can set the glide. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see it's gliding to the next note double click to send it back here we can set the pitch band which you can arrange so we can go up to 12 semitone so okay here we can re-trigger if we want uh, the voice to re-trigger or not, which is very useful. Here we have our unison to stack more oscillators. And you can go up to uh, 6. And let's disable uh, um, poly. They're all stuck together and let's increase the detune now. Let's reactivate poly actually. Which is quite cool. Um, yeah, you can act on the master detune. So Let's go back to one voice and um, here you can select a vibrato speed and a vibrato amount. So let's um, increase the vibrato amount so you can hear the effect. Okay. Here you have the selection if you want the velocity to impact the uh, amp, the filters and the envelope. At the moment it is impacting the filter and the, amp, and the amp by 100%. So let's put down this to zero. So now you have always maximum volume and the same we have no impact also on filters. Of course, if you don't like that, you can reverse it back to, uh, to the default. As you can see, I'm playing very lowly at the moment. And now very fast. Okay, you can impact as well the envelope. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> Here now we have a section on the arpeggiator. So let's turn it on. The state is off at the moment. Here we go, now it's on. So let's play a note. So <clears throat> let's have it up and let's play two notes. You can do your down. Your up and down, and your random. Okay, you can synchronize it and to the bit per minute. And therefore, you can set the rate here. You can see one sixteenth, okay, or one twelfth. Right, here you can select the octave, the arpeggio will go through, so let's go up by an octave. And let's say up and down. Let's uh, make it more interesting. select the gate so the duration of the note will be played for before it goes to the next step in the arpeggiator and here you can select how many times the note is repeated before it goes to the next one say twice
Okay, that's it for this first video. See you at the next one. Thank you. Bye.